एवरी वन यू आर वॉचिंग फनी ई हेच यस इन्फो टूडे टॉपिक इज इनकॉम्पैटेबल केमिकल्स सेफ्टी वेन टू केमिकल्स आर मिक्सड टूगेदर एनर्जी इज रिलीज एंड एक्सीडेंट्स अकर सच केमिकल्स आर कॉल्ड इनकॉम्पैटेबल केमिकल्स इनएडवर्टेंट मिक्सिंग ऑफ केमिकल्स ऑफ अपोजिट नेचर कैन लेड टू कटेस्ट्रोफिक सिचुएशन सच एज एक्सप्लोजन्स एक्सट्रीम हीट प्रेशर्स एंड रिलीज ऑफ टॉक्सिक गैसेस रिजल्टिंग इन लॉस ऑफ लाइफ एयर पोल्यूशन एंड प्रॉपर्टी डैमेज आइडेंटिफाइंग सच हैजर्डस केमिकल्स एंड फॉलोइंग सेफ्टी रूल्स फॉर ट्रांसपोर्टिंग और स्टोरिंग डैम इज द मोस्ट क्रिटिकल स्टेप इन सेफ्टी प्रैक्टिस रूल्स टू बी फॉलोड टू अवॉइड इन एडवर्टेंट मिक्सिंग ऑफ केमिकल्स ऑफ कॉन्फ्लिक्टिंग नेचर वेन ट्रांसपोर्टिंग केमिकल्स टू नो द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ केमिकल्स रीड सेक्शन टू ऑफ एम एस डी एस अ प्रॉपर लेबलिंग सिस्टम शुड बी डिवेलप्ड टू आइडेंटिफाई द केमिकल्स अ पर्सन हु ट्रांसपोर्ट्स केमिकल्स शुड बी थॉरली फमिलियर विद द नेचर ऑफ द केमिकल्स एंड हाउ टू हैंडल दैम इन केस ऑफ इमरजेंसी conflicting chemicals should not be transported in the same vehicle chemicals should be transported without exposure to air moisture and heat proper safety equipment should be used when using chemicals when storing chemicals to know the method of storage of chemicals read section 7 of msds a proper labeling system should be developed to identify the chemicals according to the nature of chemicals should be classified and storage place should be ensured chemicals should be stored separately away from air moisture and heat chemical storage areas should be inspected regularly metals sodium potassium magnesium and acids should be stored separately in designated areas Make sure that drums or bags are not the same as those used to store the offending chemicals. Keep away from oxidizing organic acids and flammable chemicals. Acids, alkalis, organic peroxides and milder chemicals should be kept separate. Chemicals that react with water should be kept in a cool, dry place. Make sure that a neutralizing chemical is available in the area where chemicals are used in case of leaks only neutralizing chemical should be used chemicals can also react with the drums bags or tanks in which they are stored and release toxic gases or fire therefore suitable materials should be used for their storage proper gloves and other necessary safety equipment Tyvek hood and pants and rubber shoes should be used when handling chemicals. Make sure that drums or bags are not the same as those used to store the offending chemicals. When using chemicals, to know the properties of chemicals, read section two of MSDS. Ensure that the workplace where chemicals are used is clean and dry. chemicals should be stored in a designated area agents used to transport chemicals work with hoses lines and gaskets so appropriate and correct agents should be used make sure that a neutralizing chemical is available in the area where chemicals are used in case of leaks only neutralizing chemical should be used a thorough understanding of the nature of chemicals should be developed while mixing them flammable chemicals should be kept away from heat sparks and flames proper gloves and other necessary safety equipment tyvek hood and pants and rubber shoes should be used when handling chemicals when chemicals are sent through lines connected to the reactor conflicting chemical pipelines should not be connected to the same main lines doing so can cause a reaction in the lines and burst the pipelines when disposing of waste materials to know the to know the method of disposal of waste materials read section 13 of msds 
Personal protective equipment should be worn when collecting waste materials. Waste materials should be collected only in designated containers. Waste materials of conflicting nature should not be collected in the same containers. Containers in which waste material is collected should be sent to ETP. In this way we can avoid the dangers of unintended combinations of harmful chemicals. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and share my videos. If you want notes about this video please visit my website link given in description box. Have a safe day.